Hello! So I just wanted to do like a quick little update because a lot has been happening um, since I last spoke to you all. I'm currently applying because I need another job, a full-time job with benefits preferably. I'm gonna do my makeup because I like doing it on camera. Yeah, so a lot has, has happened. I currently have a contract position with a room rental company in New York City. I help find people. I didn't really know it, but like getting a contract position is really the move. That's the way to try new things without being super committed. You're just kind of testing things out. I mean, like you're committed, but it's not like you own a company your whole life. So that's really nice. I need to get more of this primer. It's running, it's running out. So my plan for today is to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my manager in the city. And then for the room rental company, I just started like two weeks ago and I've been on some showings. I'm realizing now like it's super easy to sell the apartment because people are looking for an apartment and I don't really need to sell them on the apartment because I've already given them video, they know they have pictures, they have access to pictures. What I'm really trying to sell them on is the service of the company and why they should basically use us. So that's really what I need to s what I'm selling. Everything else is kind of intuitive. And then I'm also doing catering. So that's how I survive. I make money by doing events. Um, when I first moved to New York, I got a really great job in luxury retail. So I was doing luxury retail. And then I just decided I was wasting my time. I was literally wasting my time eight hours a day just waiting for people to come and shop with me. And I was like, okay, I know how to sell, but I don't like the idea of wasting my time because that's one thing I can never get back. And I've done a lot of, I don't want to say time wasting, but... It's just, I've, I've used up a lot of time on different things that are no longer important, looking back. But they shaped me. Those experiences shaped me into who I am now and why I care about what I care about. My confidence is kind of shaky right now because... Like, I want a new job, and I feel like I deserve a new job, and no one's going to get it for me but myself. But if I am not confident in the fact that I can do the job, then no one's going to be confident in my ability to do the job. So it's kind of like lying to myself in order to, like, pick myself up. But I'm not lying. I just have to, like, not be as honest. Or not, not be as honest, but, like, talk about the strengths and talk about how I can do the job without bringing myself down because I do that a lot. I bring myself down and then I mess up. My confidence is really shaky. It's like someone broke up with me and I just can't recover. I, it's like I'm, I feel like I'm used goods or something like I just cannot get back out there. And I'm like I, whatever is blocking me I need to get it together because my future self depends on myself right now to make it work, to make it happen. Santos, come say hi. This is my roommate's cat, Santos. He's so cute. I put him on the bed because he does not like, um, well, he likes attention, but I have makeup on my hands and I don't want to get it on him. I'm looking for my blush brush. And it's probably in this bag. I feel like I'm, I'm, every summer or every season I'm just like, oh, okay, like, let's see what happens. Oh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I have a showing in Harlem and then I should have a showing in Upper Manhattan. That looks really great. I'm going to bedside today to um, do like a clothing swap. 
So I'm excited about that because I love free clothes. And one big thing I'm doing this year is not shopping for clothes unless like it's necessary. Otherwise, because that's where a lot of my money is going and I really need to tackle my bills and make that a priority. And I need to figure out how how to get it together with money management because it's it's ridiculous it's ridiculous right now and it's bringing me down when i think about it so it's just like when you know you're the cause of all your woes and all your problems like there's no one to blame but yourself you can't be like oh the reason i am the way i am is because of them no like living your life and taking ownership for it starts with like realizing where you mess up and realizing that only you can really make the necessary changes to make it better i'm in love i'm in love with this blush so much <laughs> mm, i think i want to do I'm trying to decide what i want this is the 350 nature glow palette it's honestly so beautiful. I really think I just want to keep it simple. So I'm probably going to do like There's certain colors I like, but when you put it, when I put it on, I'm just like, mm, does not look appealing. It doesn't look as great as I thought it was gonna look. Like I feel like it washes me out. Santos broke my mirror, my little round mirror, so now I have to use my NARS blush mirror to to um, get the job done. I like this one. I like this one. doesn't really look like you can biggest thing is learning how to blend. I'm supposed to have a phone call with someone. Let's see. No phone call. It's just an email message for a contract position. Looks so good. Looks looks natural, which is really important. I don't like doing it. I don't like doing things that don't look natural. That looks really good. Just a little bit of mascara.
the Nature Glow palette is really amazing. Oh my gosh, I always mess up on this part. And then I get mascara on my eyelids. It's fun. But it's not easy. It's fun, but it's not easy. I just got something right there. And I messed it up a little bit. But this mascara is amazing. I got it from my sister. It's the Extra Super Lash Rimmel London. Probably the best mascara I've ever tr tried because I feel like it, it like really gives you some extra. Mm. Then I'm going to put some highlight, liquid glow, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Don't need it, but... the way like that.